Hello everyone, this is Raining Star 87 and welcome back for another fun, exciting episode of Pokemon Zeta. So last time we defeated the Black Fist City Gym Leader Dimitri with very little problems. And so off screen, well that gave us Rock Smash, which is what we needed to get out of here. So anyway, last time uh, we got Rock Smash and so off screen I went ahead and got... Uh, the, uh, well, it should tell me in a minute. Ooh, no, there we go. You could break this with your pickaxe. So, over on Mount, um, oh, what's it called? Mount Press. If you have the move Rock Smash, then you can go ahead and find the pickaxe. And what the pickaxe will do is it will substitute for Rock Smash. So, anyway, we're gonna head on. Interesting. It's a cave with a bunch of trainers. So, you know what that means? Let's do a speed up montage of all the battles and I'll catch you later when something interesting happens. See you all in a bit.
Hello everyone, and we are back, and we are in Caspian City, which appears to require surf. That's nice. So let's go have a look. First stop's always the Poke Center. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Thank you, Nurse Joy. I still wish I could figure out why that's so loud. Oh well. So, let's see. I think we got a gym in this town. We sure do. So that's what we'll be doing next time. But let's buzz ourselves, or let's buzz around. Let's buzz ourselves. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's buzz around and see what's going on. I'm relaxing with my fighting types after a refreshing victory against Miranda. She's quite tough if you're not ready, though. That's nice. It's got Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and Hitmontop. But no Kairogi. This house is empty. I claim this house in the name of Rain. This house really is empty. There's nothing exciting at all. Maybe there's something in this potted plant. Nope. Well, that's depressing. What's over here? That's a strange building. What are you? It's a research center. Hello! Cybertory used to be an archaeological one. Now we're just focused on reviving fossils. We want to revive his- Yay! They revive fossils. We love our jobs as archaeologists. We love to excavate fossils from beneath the earth. But that was until the flood happened. Flood? Oh dear. Oh hello, I'm a scientist. I can turn fossils into living, breathing Pokemon. That's wonderful. We will have to remember you're here. So there must have been some kind of flood. Let's see, we haven't been over here. Yay, we got dive! That creates a problem. Alright, well since we've got... Based on my estimates, a little bit of time. Let's go check out the gym. Ooh, it's hot in here. Hey there, champ of the making. You're nearly at the end of your goal. The Caspian City is the very last gym. Water, ground, and rock types will sure help you out here. But you better make sure to avoid grass, ice, bug, or steel types. Thankfully, we have very few of those. Also, I should mention the sun is harsh from for every single battle. Well, that's problematic. Oh well. Hello, dude. How are you? Let's figure out what's what we're gonna do. It's a Rapidash. Let's try an Earthquake. Oh, don't like that very much. Oh, that's that's tragic. I am sorry. Flareon. Ooh, these guys are much higher level than I am. This could prove to be very problematic. Oh, Flareon down too. Tragedy. Torkoal. Hmm. I wonder whatever will we do? Hmm, poor Torkoal. Oh, it's gonna live. That's okay. Fire and Kovalet are best friends. Alright, Torkoal, you're down. Very good. Ooh, big stat increases. Mark Cargo. 
Let's just earthquake you out of existence. I feel that we'll have a good advantage against the fire type gym trainer, even though I know that uh, we're going to have an unfortunate battle situation with her. But anyway, I think we can pull it off. Should be able to. But we'll have to see. And we got Flareon again. That's strong... Oh, what did I do that for? Oh, whatever. Oh, smog. That's no good. That strong sunlight's a problem. A big problem. But that's alright. Oh look, it's a Blaziken. Hi, Blaziken. Goodbye, Blaziken. Oh, Earthquake, how wonderful are you? I'm not sure what this one is. Oh yeah, I know what this, I know what this Pokemon is. I actually used him in my first playthrough of Pokemon Black and White. He's actually a really good fighting fire Pokemon. I quite enjoyed him. He's also got a weird ability. I didn't even see what that was. Oh, Ninetales. That's alright. And goodbye, Ninetales. Yes, you were defeated by a child. It was tragic. Feel the wrath of your fire Pokemon? Mm, don't think so. What do we got? Arcanine? Oh no, it survived. It's okay, we'll dragon claw you. Now we'll keep you Covalet for right now. You need to be leveled. And we'll use your final earthquake. There we go. Infernape. Yeah, we're gonna switch you out. Um Selena, you're up. All right, let's get the surf. Close combat, nobody likes that. Stupid monkey. It's amazing the number of combinations of fighting and fire. I mean, you really just can't find a f fire type anymore. It's really hard. They've added a bunch of different stuff. That Infernape is fast. But it's all right. Goodbye, Infernape. Heat more. How about heat less? Oh, that weirdo. Alright, let's surf it. Hmm. These guys aren't nearly as sensitive to water as I feel that they should be. Maybe it's because I'm trying to use Surf. But I like Surf. Because all the upper level water attacks, they don't hit. I mean, they have very little accuracy, and I need them to hit. 
You're not going to stockpile. I'm not going to allow it. It's just not going to happen. And goodbye, Heatmore. All right. And that means that Miranda should be up ahead. So next time we're going to take on Miranda and see um, what that, what challenges that brings. But anyway, this is Raining Star 87. We're in Caspian City and we're going to take on Miranda next time. So we'll catch you all night later.